important to make sure that you're in control of your gong and that you can direct it at any time. Sometimes when you're playing, you can get a little bit carried away and that's okay as long as you know how to bring it back. So I want to talk a little bit about the different effects of playing the gong softly and loudly. If you play softly, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system and this is cooling and relaxing and soothing. It also releases and grounds and it heightens the senses. If you play loudly, you're activating the, the sympathetic nervous system and this strengthens and energizes and creates an expansion and focus. And it also activates and elevates. So they're both doing two different jobs and you really want to have that expansion and contraction through the gong. But for the moment, I just want you to understand the subtle differences of the softer and the louder approach and what they do. When you actually start to play more loudly, the swing of the gong will start. That's okay. But if you're playing too hard, it will really start swinging. If you do feel like the swing has got out of control, you can get your first finger and just put it a little behind the rim and just slow it down slightly. When you increase the volume, the gong will start to be moving away from you. If you want to increase the volume, you want to hit it with the gong moving away from you. If you want to decrease the volume, then you need to hit the mallet with it coming towards you.